Oh no, her legs are backwards. Yo everybody, this is Rock the Great, aka the Toy Boogie, coming to you with another toy review. Now, this is the start of spooky season. I'm going to be trying to do a lot of Halloween horror themed videos for this season until Halloween is over because I love Halloween, I love the holidays, and I like to get festive, and I want to have fun on this channel, so hopefully you guys are on board. We're going to have a lot of cool things, and just stay tuned. Make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button if you're not already. But first off, I just want to say thank you to all the people who signed up to Macari using my reference code because you guys bought me this item. Now, for people who don't know what Macari is, this is not an ad, but I do have a reference code. It's down below. If you sign up, you get 10 bucks and I get 10 bucks. It's a really good alternative to eBay. I almost don't even use eBay anymore. So basically, I got this for free just because you guys signed up. Perfect. So if you guys want to sign up, you want a $10 free credit and I get one. The link is down below. It's Macari. You just click on that link in the description. Again, not an ad. I wish it was an ad. If you want to sponsor me, Macari, I'm all for it, but I really do love that app. All right, now to the video. Again, I guys, I swear this is a video. I did want to just say thank you. I did get this for free. Now, Halloween 3 is one of my favorite movies and a lot of people, it's the complete opposite. Now, People expected a Michael Myers movie for Halloween 3, and I get why so many people are mad at this movie, because it isn't a Michael Myers movie. And I guess I wasn't, you know, alive back in the 80s. If they tricked people and people in the theater thought that you were going to get a Michael Myers movie and you didn't, I could understand why everyone was mad. If anyone is old enough, I'm a 90s kid. So if you were tricked and that's why you don't like this movie, let me know down below. I still never got the full story, but I know people did feel tricked. Uh, but personally, this is the style of movie that is my favorite. I love like uh, Season of the Witch, Night of the Comet, From Beyond. I love that weird sci-fi, 80s, campy but serious, weird movies. Those are my favorite horror movies. So when I saw this set, I got really excited. Oh, what's that? Oh, look, it says it right here. Now, this is really cool of NECA to make a slip cover like this. There's no tape on the slip cover, so you could just slip it on and off. And that was pretty busy of them not to put the contents of this like on the outside of the box Now this is just the outside of the box So if you were walking past this you wouldn't even know what was in it But it says inside three posable action figures each with interchangeable hands and heads featured accessories included television with lenticular effect very 90s Perfect. and trick-or-treat bags now that's very sick and then it has Universal and all the other stuff and there it is embossed this logo is embossed so it is See, it sticks up. I'm gonna keep this box. I usually don't keep boxes, but this is some really nice work. And I love this on the side. That is beautiful. I want like, I want a poster or something of this. That's very cool. Now this back, oh, uh, guys, come on. Who Who is with me? Who really does like Season of the Witch? Because I do. Oh man, I just love all this. Come on, look at this. Uh, and uh, we're gonna be opening this up and we are gonna be actually, I believe it's the same body as the Kevin Home Alone figure. So we're gonna be doing comparisons. And then I also have a normal retro. I don't have the Michael Myers retro figure, but ever since this Scream or Ghostface figure, I am now on board with the eight inch retros. I used to not like them. We're not not like them, but I am a seven inch Ultimate fan more. But now, this figure is so cool. I have a review up on the channel. This figure is so cool that it kind of sold me on them. So now I'm currently gonna start collecting the uh, retro cloth figures. All right, we got the blade. Let's do it. Nice, oh, of course I cut it. Oh my God, I cut it twice. What? Come on guys, I'm trying to keep this box nice. I actually like the box for once. You blew it! Ooh, look at that. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that, and that's their figures, you can tell. That's the actual NECA figures. Very good. Great job, NECA, I swear, man. NECA is my favorite toy company. Oh, man, where do we start? Let's actually look at the accessories first. And before we get to the video, what we do on this channel is a thing called live commenting, where you guys just leave comments down below. You spam the heck out of the comment section because the YouTube algorithm really likes it. YouTube wants you guys to comment, so leave a comment even if you have nothing to say. You could even hate on me, I don't even care. Leave poop and you could just write comment poop. You could just comment down poop down. I, listen, I don't care. Just leave comments. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. YouTube algorithm loves it. Now enough 
Enough of this. Let's get to the video. Oh, so it seems like... Okay, so it seems like the... Oop. Do not eat these. Throw them away. Okay, I will, I will, I promise. It seems like we have the Halloween bags right here. They are on the back. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is cool. Hold on, let's see. I actually have a tutorial up on the channel on how to make Halloween bags, so if you uh, are looking for something like that, definitely check out my channel. I do toy reviews, toy hunts, and I also do diorama tutorials and uh, accessory tutorials. So we do a little bit of everything on this channel for those of you who are new. Um, yeah, so look at this. Okay, very cool. Um, laminated, pretty hard cardstock, I would say. Laminated paper. The inside's not, though, so I feel like over time this could get a little messy. And then just more paper. And this is made into, like, a little bag. Look at that. They're all bags. Very cool. Cardboard. This is, like, a light, a light thin cardboard. And you get two of those and one trick-or-treat bag. Very cool. Another accessory you get is the Silver Shamrock commercial TV. And it just does the pumpkin and the shamrock. And now mine looks like it's actually coming off, sadly. If you could see, this is like, I would say this is damaged. This, this one, I don't know, man. The glue came off or something because it is sticking up on the sides, but maybe I'll just push it in there. I'll just probably have to take it off and re-glue it, but again, it, it's okay. Um, I'm not crying about it because I am very happy to have this. This is hollow, so it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. It says universal on the bottom. Very cool old TV. Now, I saw a lot of people were like, I'm buying this set just for the TV. It is cool, but you could just get dollhouse furniture if that's why you're going to buy the set. But it is a cool TV. I do believe it's the same one that came with the They Live figures. So it's a nice reuse right there. It does have a... Um, a what is it? A stand hole, so you could like put it a, a, a screw in the wall and hang it up on the wall. I don't know why you would want to. For 50 bucks retail, this is definitely a set you should get and uh, and sleep on at least, even if you're not a fan. Oh man, very cool. I'm very happy so far. All right, so here we are. We'll take a look at the extra heads they come with. Again, such a cool little addition. They come with the corroded heads with all like the weird bugs and gross stuff that comes out of them. Look at that, man. And you could see on these ones, you could see the eyes, just tormented old eyes. Again, that's why I like NECA so much is they make figures for adults. A lot of toys on the toy shelf now are very kids oriented. Kids don't really like toys. I mean, if you see some of the stuff they make, I get why. It's just, they make a lot of boring, safe, not appealing stuff. Kids, they want some gross stuff like this. If I was a kid, I would love these. I'd be like, oh, look, bugs. Oh, man, I just love this. These are supposed to be dead kids, and NECA made toys of it. Very cool, man. I always got to give NECA, oh, look at the silver shamrock uh, button on each one of these. Such good detail. Crazy, man. I I feel like anytime I do a toy review of NECA, I just gush. But, it, it, I mean, it's my favorite toy company. What do you want me to do? And it's got a little hole on it, so this goes on top of here. And there you go. The hat could go on this one, or it could go on the regular figure. So let's get these regular guys out. All right, now I have to say, these are really cool. I am really enjoying these. Oh boy, I just like these masks. It's just like every uh, everything is cool. I don't know. I got. <laughs> I, let me let me try to compose myself. But I'm just really excited to have these again. These. These characters are actually in the movie for like, what, two seconds? Like really, really quick at the end. The style and their outfits are very iconic, so I do get that. Um, very cool, I wish we got more from the line. I would love, there's not a lot of characters. You could make the other people, even if it's a Shout Factory, uh, or, or what is it, Scream Factory exclusive that NECA likes to team up with. Um, let's take a look, so we have the Really nice masks. I would even love to cast these up for myself and just have a whole wall of like the masks. Because if you watch this movie, they have so many masks. The production team must have been crazy for that movie. I really, I watch it in awe sometimes. I really do love that movie. For the articulation, there's no ab crunch, which is, which is very noticeable. But it's, I mean, I guess it's a child. You don't really need much. Their elbows are actually double jointed. 
I didn't think they were double jointed. Their elbows are actually double jointed. The knees are single jointed though. But that's really cool. Look at that. I'm always afraid to push the articulation because you don't want to break anything, especially with NECA figures. Pretty good with the knee. Not double jointed again, but pretty nice. No ankle pivot, but you could do up and down with the ankles. Again, these figures are not really action figures. Oh, there's thigh swivel in there. And there's bicep swivel. So these, I would say these are pretty nice. Again, you get three of these figures. They are kids, but you do get three of them. Now, I do believe it's the same body as Kevin. So maybe if you bought an extra one of these, you could have a Kevin, or if you wanna take Kevin's head off, you have like a to die in front of the TV and say like you could do a little toy photography with that. I might do something like that. That's so crazy. And also, these hands, you could use these new hands for your old Kevin figure and vice versa. You could use your Kevin hands for these new figures. Very cool. So let me take that off. I love Home Alone so much. I can't believe we have Home Alone figures by my favorite toy company. Like it's like a match made in heaven. Ooh, his neck is like, all right, I'm not gonna mess with this. He's staying, I don't wanna break him, so he's going away. Again, the only thing is, and it's very nitpicky, but I am honest in my reviews is, I believe she has gloves on in the movie. So she has white gloves in the movie. Again, nothing, who cares, I know, but I have to, I don't want people to just think I'm biased on NECA, even though I do love NECA. Um, and people would say I'm harsh on Hasbro even though I love... Oh, her leg is backwards. Oh no. Oh no, her legs are backwards. Wait a second. See? Look at that, her legs are backwards. Wow, wait, how do I do this now? What? And the feet, I'm gonna have to retake the feet. Oh, look at that, see? I was just being... I was just giving NECA credit and... I might, maybe if I take off, do, does this go around? No, oh man, that's a butt crack, yeah. So I'm gonna have to heat this up and maybe just switch the legs around and the feet might be going a different direction, but oh, look at that. That's crazy, that's really sick actually. Um, so her legs go the wrong way. Very disappointing, but um, what are you gonna do? Let's see, anyone else have that problem? No, they all got good articulation. I'm just gonna have to heat her up and flip her legs off, even though oh, I hate doing that stuff. That's so weird, I was just giving NECA credit and then that happened, so. All right, so here we are with Ghostface. And they look like that's proper kid size for the uh, full size male body. Uh, if I get the, I want to get the Halloween, A hey, Halloween 2 Michael Myers and put him with them in a little collection. So I'm going to start a new Halloween horror shelf. So very cool, nice, good scaling. And now I need to track down a Michael Myers. Oh, did I hit everything? Guys, really cool. Yeah, they came with extra hands accessories. I think I spoke about that, but that's it guys. I am really happy with this set, even though I'm going to have to do some surgery on this lady's legs. Um, that's such a weird thing, man. Oh, that stinks, but whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. This was Rocky the Great, a.k.a. the Toy Bookie, and that, huh, thank you for watching. Are you gonna pick up this set? D do you have this set? Do you actually like this movie? Let me know. Leave all these comments down below. I, I would like to know. And, uh, I'm gonna go fix her right now with her weird legs. Alright, bye, guys.